everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 pixels at 30 frames per second. Give your comp a name, then hit OK. Double click the timeline and select solid. Duplicate the layer about 3 times. Select top layer and search for 4 color gradient in the effects and presets. Then head over to color picker and choose a nice color scheme. I'm using purple. Then hit R on your keyboard and open rotate and tilt the layer about 69 degrees. Duplicate the rotated layer and hit P to open position and bring your layer out. Search for fill in the menu, double click and add, and then use the color picker to select the softer color. I am using white. Adjust if necessary. And then right click the top layer. Select the layer styles and drop shadow. And increase size around the hundreds. Select a spare black solid and double click to add fill to it. Select an overall darker shade to create fake depth. Head back to your project. Double click the scaffold I have linked below and drag it into the timeline. Hit T to open opacity and change to around 64%. Hit S to open scale and scale down until sides are uniform with composition to keep the ratio. Select the next spare black solid and place it below the scaffold. Ensure you're on the spare black solid, select the shape tool, click and drag from the top left corner of the video suggestion box. Then click and hold the shape tool to open the ellipse option. Hold shift down as you click and drag until correct ratio is reached. Hit V on your keyboard and drag circle into place. Delete the scaffold, then download the Saber plugin. It is free and I have the link and the tutorial in my description. Go to Customize Core and select Layer Mask. Head down to Render Settings, Composite Settings and select Transparent. You can change the colour at this stage if you are happy with this look. If not, there is a huge selection. For this I am choosing energy. You will need to change the colour again. Head back down to Customize Core. Move the playhead to the beginning of the loop and place a keyframe on Mask Evolution. Set it to negative 180 degrees. Move around 10 seconds ahead and change Mask Evolution to 3 rotations. Adjust Offset and Start Size. These do not need keyframes, so settings can be to your liking. Right 
Pro Player and move it to the video suggestions box. Call it next video. Now we will add the headline. I am using Futura Condensed Medium Font. Scale it to size and add bevel and emboss. Now we will select Light Sweep to add a shine effect. At the start of your playhead, keep center at the start of your text. Then move halfway through the 10 second sequence and drag the center to the end of your text. Finally, add a keyframe to the end of the sequence and place the center back at the start of your text. And we're done. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.